All right, Virgo, this is your reading for July. Virgo, what are the messages? Okay, let's take a look here. We have the Two of Swords, the King of Wands, and the Sun, the Queen of Cups, and the Page of Pentacles. All right, and the Five of Swords. Okay, so we have the Major Arcana, okay, as our sun. All right, let me move this over and get this set up and we'll get started. All right, Virgo, so we have the sun, which is number 19. So that becomes a nine plus one is 10. So it becomes a one plus two is three plus five is eight. You know, when I look at this, I definitely feel like uh, there's some polarities or some opposites or opposition or uh, going on here. And it's interesting because we have a lot of fire here and then we have lots of water in these cards here. And... It's interesting, too, because the sun represents Leo, um, and this is often my Leo card, especially because of the lions back here. Now, this can represent any sign, um, but just to let you know, the fire signs are Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius, so that could be of some significance. We also do have two swords here, and which has a lot to do with communication, uh, also using logic, uh, finding out the truth, um, using facts, and, um, you know, looking at things from a different perspective. And I think that some of you possibly are either with this five here as the underlying theme. This was the card underneath. And I wonder if uh, there have been some battles going on around you and possibly you're at a, uh, in a situation where um, you're in either like protective mode or deflecting or possibly not even uh, wanting to partake in anything. Like, you know, it's almost like she's not... Um, and it could be a he, but they're blindfolded. It's almost like if I, if I don't see it, it's not happening. Or I don't want to be a part of this or don't involve me, you know, type of situation. And so uh, and, and some for some, I feel like definitely there's something that is happening that really needs to be observed or seen or the truth needs to be released or come out in some way because it's I, I feel like you know with this card here it's it's a victory uh, I mean I feel like this person feels like they won but you know what have they really won not really anything. This doesn't, you know, uh, it's like a victory in their own eyes, but um, it's almost out of, to me, like jealousy or backstabbing or, you know, just creating an argument for the sake of arguing. I almost feel like, you know, these people here, I mean... <laughs> They're facing the same direction, but it's like um, they're not really getting anywhere. 
they're focused um, in the for me in the backwards or in the past position. There could be a situation where there's a decision to make about um, how do you let go of the past. Maybe somebody from your past walked away and uh, or just stormed off and you don't even know what happened like this person just kind of disappeared could also be that they're disappearing and they may be returning um uh, i definitely feel that there could be a situation especially with the page here and and the sun um where this could be definitely regarding children pages can represent children and I feel like maybe there's a situation uh, regarding children or where, you know, somebody is just saying, um, I'm trying to get this to focus here, but um, where they're like not taking responsibility for the child or they're not seeing the child or they're unable to see um, so this could definitely, with the number two, it, it, it often represents to me uh, dualities. Uh, there's uh, definitely balance is needed, but at a crossroads or, you know, it's, it's, it can be definitely arguments. This could also be representative of something legal going on, whether it's child support, child custody, um, you know, somebody's trying to win some battle or they, um, you know, this could definitely be even in the, in the legal system, like a, a court battle uh, over a situation. I'm also picking up possibly paternity test, and I, I think that somebody may find out that they're pregnant or somebody around them is pregnant and... Uh, or somebody suspects someone's pregnant, but they're like, no, I'm not pregnant. I just get like they're hiding something. Uh, so they could be hiding a pregnancy or maybe not on purpose. They're just not even wanting to know if they are pregnant or if they're too scared to, to look at something. And there, the light went out, <laughs> as I predicted, because I'm having those technical issues. So... Um, you know, some of you, this is very indicative of arguments possibly between a couple, um, between um, somebody that's dating. This also could be, uh, I may have said this, I apologize if I have, it's, it's possibly um, somebody from the past that keeps coming back or there's uh, talks about... Uh, maybe you're communicating with somebody from your past or from childhood or there's there's something about um, like they come in and then they maybe leave again and then they come back in. Could also be that you're just thinking about somebody from the past. I also feel like this is a... Um, if you're having a hard time, I feel like some issues may go back to childhood. Because I'm almost getting like somebody is not wanting to look at their past or their childhood or they're having these uh, dreams that, you know, they're just um, trying to not even want to look at it's it's just almost like wanting to wash away uh your past and really begin something new so with the sun being in the challenge position this could be definitely you know a little bit representative of not feeling yourself like yourself, like you're, uh, you know, you've got that energy, you're a little bit off. I mean, the sun is very uh, indicative of growth and happiness, and maybe you're feeling a bit down. Maybe it's also because 
of a, a fire sign here. Could also be because of a water sign. I mean, these are, you know, the king and the queen, but they're interchangeable in terms of sexes. Um, the queen does represent Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. And maybe there's, you know, some division between the two of you or something ended and you're not quite sure, like, as I stated, what you did or maybe you ended something or you're contemplating ending. Uh, maybe you're beginning um, a family or starting a new relationship and all of a sudden somebody from the past comes in and it just complicates things and you find yourself at a crossroads. Some of you, I do feel like this is, um, you know, next to the sun, there's, there's like light uh, that needs to be shined on a situation or possibly enlightenment. Um, it could be that you're, you know, developing, developing some spiritual enlightenment and you're not wanting to, um, you're kind of scared of that. And so you're shutting yourself down in some way or shutting yourself off from that. For others, I feel like, you know, with the sun, I mean, it is indicative, you know, with it being reversed that there's a delay in growth or um, delay in something maturing or a relationship moving to another level could also be indicative of some type of depression. Um, and that, you know, the twos represent balance. And so maybe there's some balance that's needed between, you know, uh, the, the light or um, and, and maybe being out in the sun would be helpful or being near water would be helpful. Um, and it's having a balance like between that fiery energy, that passion, and then the emotions and finding that balance between the two. Um, I'm also feeling like some of you, uh, you know, if you're not feeling well, definitely go see the doctor. It could be that there's a need for vitamin D um, or there's a lack of sun, you know, but I, uh, I, I feel like it could be a vitamin or something that is throwing you off balance that, um, that could help in some way. Um, I also am picking up that some of you are kind of feeling like this is, you know, you want, you were hoping for a situation to take off a certain way and maybe it's not. It doesn't mean that you're not going to be successful. It's just that maybe there's challenges. Uh, some of you are very much at a crossroads and really kind of deciding, uh, you know, should I go back to school? What what does the future hold for me? What can I learn from the situation or my past so that it doesn't, I you know, history doesn't repeat itself? Or you know, it almost feels like uh, somebody wanting to even almost protect their their child in some way from allowing history to repeat itself like they uh, don't want their child around someone or around uh, a situation that could be volatile they don't want to expose their child to that um, and it could be you it could be somebody um, you know like you're wanting to protect your child could also be your inner child um, that you know, there's there's something there that is very deep, but it's almost like you're scared to go there because of something that happened that was a bit traumatic um, and you're not ready to deal with it. Uh, but what I do like is that this is in the outcome position and I feel like there's a, a new beginning. Um, there's there's a lot of hope here 
And maybe some of this has already taken place for some of you, and you are making the decision, you are choosing to look at this childhood drama or trauma or your past, past relationships, and that's why the Queen of Cups is here. You know, maybe you've been avoiding and fighting yourself. Maybe this isn't a fight with anybody, but an inner fight. And uh, with the Queen of Cups here, you know, a lot of times uh, I, with the lion, it's like that energy, that external in here, the Queen of Cups is very much one that looks internal or looks at uh, her emotions. The cups deal with emotions, intuitiveness, uh, psychic abilities, spiritualities, um, feelings. And I feel like by going within, some of you are choosing to finally go within and you're going to see the light where maybe it was a little bit dark or stormy or cloudy. There's hope in some aspect. So, and for some of you, it's it's a new career. It's a new path. It's something totally different than what you've been doing. And maybe things start out slowly. Like I said, maybe there's more to be learned before you can move on and you're you're taking it step by step and this could be a relationship it could also be with um, an earth sign capricorn virgo and or um taurus and that you're taking baby steps um you know with this relationship because you have been hurt or or you know there have been some stormy relationships in the past or issues with jealousy, whether it's you or the other person gets jealous of you or something like that. Um, so some of you are going to be taking, you know, one step at a time is kind of what I'm hearing, baby steps. Um, so focus on what you are doing and what is positive instead of what is negative um, in that sense. Let's see if there's anything else that I am, um, I don't know, you know, I'm really focused on this horse. Uh, there could be a situation regarding horses. You know what I got? I feel like somebody could be starting something. I feel like this is uh uh, trying to find a way to help children heal that so it's not so much that you have possibly been through some childhood trauma but dealing with children or teenagers or youngsters with trauma and I almost feel like this is a horse um, horse therapy is how this is coming across to me uh, I feel like this is somewhere possibly near water uh, where the where the, the kids or children or teenagers or even, I don't know, this could even be, um, this could be people of any age where there's been trauma. This could be physical trauma, um, not just mental, emotional, or, 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 you know, that kind of trauma. This may be physical trauma or something where there's, you know, uh, healing with horses or somebody is trying to buy land or, you know, um, they're, they're up against something that could be kind of difficult in terms of wanting to start a business where there's, Healing with animals or healing with horses, something therapeutic like the seaside. Um, this could for for you know changes and so it's almost like starting over again in some way. Um, Oh, I hope this brings some enlightenment, no pun intended here with this sun card, but um, have a beautiful month and I will talk to you soon. All right. Bye.